What up campers? This time we're showing you our top 10 best products we bought for our RV since we got in the game. Let's get it. So if you're new to RVing or you just got your trailer, or you've had your trailer for a long time and just watch the channel and want to know um, some of the best buys that we've made on Amazon. We've bought uh, a ton of stuff and not all of it's been worth it, but these 10 things I think are well worth your consideration. This is just a quick one, but we just wanted to hit some of those things that we really love the most for all those newbie RV campers like us who are um, looking to make their life a little bit easier. This is, is a handful of things that I think will make that happen. The first one's one I actually don't even have with me right now, but I'll put it up on the screen, but that's this little Camco scissor jack adapter. On our old trailer, we had scissor jacks. Now we have electric. You used to have to get that bar and crank them up and down. So this little $5 socket thing, you put in your electric drill, in your cordless drill, and uh, makes raising and lowering your stabilizers take about five seconds, no sweat. This is just one of those lazy buys that helps to make your setup go a lot quicker. Number nine is a, a good set of leveling blocks. So we have the, the smaller ones that we started out with, but I actually really recommend these wide ones for like dually tires. Those are great because you can kind of work them together if you need to make a little ramp up to a, a pretty uneven site. And going along with that is to get yourself a, a good set of wheel chocks. These are all just the Camco ones, but so far over about two years, they've held up really well. And uh, just one of those things you have to have. Okay, and this one's not glamorous to talk about, but you really need to get yourself a clear sewer elbow so that you can see when your tanks are flushed out. It's no fun uh, talking about the job, but it's really nice to be able to watch it and make sure your, your black tank is running clear after you dump it. Well worth the money, especially for the peace of mind of knowing that your tanks are gonna be all dialed in for the next one. Number seven, I recommend getting yourself a set of X chocks. They actually, um, if you have a dual axle trailer, especially with these torsion control axles, these Dexter Torflex axles, you can get quite a bit of movement in your tires when you're parked, even when it's chocked well. And these things do a great job of taking some of that rocking out of the trailer. I think they're about 50 bucks on Amazon, but they are definitely worth the money. Number six recommendation is to get yourself a good set of tools. So I got this little Stanley job. Um, just has a little bit of everything, but you never know what's gonna happen. This one's got all the basics, wrenches, pliers, screwdrivers, ratchets, uh, a bunch of sockets and stuff. So you don't need to go crazy, but you definitely wanna have at least something. Number five is a controversial topic, but uh, this is the solution that we found that works the best for us. You're gonna find people who use those like drop-ins, some people do the geo method, but uh, for black and actually gray tank treatment, we really like this Happy Camper. It's a powder and you basically dump three scoops in and a couple gallons of water into either tank and uh, basically liquefies everything and makes it a lot easier to flush out your tank at the end of a trip. Basically got some like bacteria and stuff like that that consumes everything and it really does turn everything to liquid and so when you flush out that tank, your black always shows empty. You don't get any of that stuff where you're like, man, I, I swear I dumped this. Why is it still a third or whatever? Um, highly recommend this stuff. Number four relates to uh, camp cooking, which you guys know we love to do. Um, that's to get yourself a good Dutch oven and a tripod. It's just a really fun way to cook. You can make a lot of different meals in there, desserts and everything else. And it's just always fun to sit around the campfire, cooking in that Dutch oven, eating bomb food. It really makes you feel like you're camping. So that one's a, a really fun one. And if you're into cooking at your campground, then invest in a Dutch oven. There's a lot of different Dutch ovens out there, but if you get one with a rim on the lid, then you have a lot more flexibility. Number three is to get yourself a good RV mattress. So uh, one of the first things we did was chuck the one that came with this and move the one from our old hybrid in here. And we got the Zinus eight inch memory foam. I'll put the link to the eight and the 10 inch down below, but the mattress is the bomb. It's only a couple hundred bucks and it, um, hands down crushes the one that comes in your RV. Again, you come out to relax and enjoy yourself and part of that is having a great night's sleep and so uh, just bite the bullet, invest early in something that's gonna make you comfortable because the more you enjoy it, the more relaxed you are, the more you look forward to it, the more you're gonna get out there and make those memories and that's what it's all about at the end. The reason why I'm gonna link to the eight and the 10 inch is we bought the eight inch because we used to be in a hybrid and we were lugging that thing in and out of the bunk ends all the time. So we were balancing comfort against 
kind of another pain in the neck when you're setting up camp. So uh, if we had it to do over again now that we have the bedroom, we would have just went for the 10 inch straight away. But either way, make yourself comfortable, get yourself enjoying it as much as possible. And I think a mattress is a, a huge part of making that happen. Number two is also related to camp cooking and that's to get yourself a good camp grill. We drank the Kool-Aid and went for the Blackstone tailgater. We like that because you have the griddle on one side and then you can put a grill on this side. So you have a, a lot of options. Cooking is half the fun of camping. So you want to invest in a, in a nice setup. We're super happy with the griddle. We do almost everything on the griddle side, burgers, breakfast, um, even kebabs and stuff like that. So it's just a lot of fun and a different way to cook when you're camping compared to what you do at home. This one's probably one of the more expensive things we recommend, but again, eating and cooking at camp is such a huge part of it that uh, it, it pays to just start off on the right foot. And last but not least, our number one best thing we've ever got for our trailer are these JT Strong Arms. You can go watch our uh, Strong Arm install video or I have a review on the Strong Arms from our last trailer. And these ones again are about 200 bucks, so it's not a cheap one. Uh, but in terms of taking that rocking out of the trailer, making you feel more at home, um, these things make your trailer pretty rock solid. Again, you're still in a trailer. You're not on a concrete slab, but with these in there, it is night and day, even above and beyond those X chocks. And so if you get both, I think you're really gonna like the result with it being uh, much more stable and just more comfortable and, and get you more excited to be out in that camper. Again, I have links to all of this stuff in the description below so you can get all this stuff from the comfort of your own couch. And uh, a lot of it, you don't even need to do any installing with the exception of these, so. The whole point is to, to make it easier, make life more enjoyable, make camping that much funner and, and more relaxing so that you wanna go as much as humanly possible and make those memories, which are really what count in life. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully that helps. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, click that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Think and break me.